What's up guys, Rob here today, and the 240 is back. It's not running, well I mean technically it did run, but now it's not running. So it had a vacuum leak of some sort. Um, I was kind of happy that it did run, but still kind of sad that it wasn't running to its full potential because it was whistling and it would not rev over like a couple hundred RPM. Finally, I'm on my third harness here now. Instead of deciphering what's wrong with mine, I finally just found an OEM one uncut, plugged into my engine room harness. So this is a full five speed harness back. Everything's plugged in the same way. I even tried messing with relays and another fuel sending unit. It finally worked and fired up. Battery's working good. The breaker's working, minus the engine. So the only thing that was bad is that the engine is leaking. I'm not sure if it's the intake manifold but where i saw the sneezing sniffling wherever it was from it looked like it came out of the valve cover and all of these were loose except for three of them i think i just thought they were snug enough and they were good you literally do one more turn and they just come loose so what i've been doing is actually installing a heli coil so basically it's a thread insert mine on this are m6 dash one these little tiny guys for the valve cover hardware so you have about Eight of these short ones and three long ones for the center. All of them were screwed, so I got this kit. So it comes with, I went to Canadian Tire, curbside thank you, it only took about a day. A little OEM tool, it's this little guy. That's all it is, a little tang at the end there for the tool. There's a little adjuster screw on it there. There's a tang there, just drops in. And then that obviously would be this way and you thread it in. Usually it's about a half or a quarter turn in, push down or back, and it snaps the bottom tang off. And then you pull that out, usually with a little magnetic tool or pliers if you can reach in. This little tool is just something I can stick in the grease here and pick up the little shavings since I can't flip the engine upside down and I don't have a vacuum. There's no way for me to get them out and I do not want to blast them because obviously shavings in your engine. Not good. So these are all the little pieces. And of course, I had to get some Permatex. Obviously, you can get Loctite. I think the it dread, the dry time is about 20 minutes. And then the full cure is 24 hours. So by 8 o'clock tomorrow, if that's the leak, this car should run. So it does come with the tap, the proper tap size here. So it actually shows you on the side, you know, the M6 by 1.0. Then of course, you just have to find the drill size. On the pack you get, it has the right size. It shows you for M6. It'll be a quarter inch drill bit. I put a little piece of tape because I don't need to go down that far. And especially working on something like a cylinder head, you do not want to go or dig too deep. So I just measured and then put a little piece of tape so I know when to stop in the head. So I'll show you how it's going. So what's happening was I could have these in here, but they're loose. And I could see how the threads can push past. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. So. I've done the coil in this corner here, threads in nice, no real shake and I can't, I don't want to pull too hard and rip it out, but it's been Loctited in. I've done a few of them already. So the next one I have left is the corner. This one was actually half decent, but because they're all kind of meh, I'm just going to do all 11. There's three in the center and there's the eight on the outside. So I want to do them all. I'm just sticking it in some of this grease here. So when I drill the shavings out, it'll just stick to it and I can easily just wipe it off when I'm done. That's cool. All the shavings there. I honestly thought something broke there, but it was literally just the uh, drill bit falling out of my stupid drill. So always make sure your bits are tight. So we'll go back in it. There we go. There we go. Just make sure I get everything out as much as possible. Just to make sure they're out. Now this is daunting, of course. It's easier if you have a vacuum of some sort, but I do not. So it kind of sucks, but it's well worth it. And I got OCD, so you know what? It's peace of mind for me as well. So get all that crap out. Also before I put it in, just to let it cut a little smoother, I did just dip it in a little bit of oil, just to let it flow a bit better when it's making those new threads. Make sure everything's out of the way. Again, just a bit of grease, little screwdriver. Get in there, 
Let's see, look at all that. Bunch of shavings. So basically I wanna go about the same for the tap as I do for the drill. Obviously I don't wanna tape the tap cause I feel like, uh, you know what? No, I could tape the tap. It's just oils on there, so I don't know if it's gonna slip off, but whatever. I know, I can see where it's gonna be at. I'm gonna get some brake clean. I'm gonna spray out that hole. Just make sure that's dry. Just dry out that hole. Make sure no crap is in there. There, now let's coat it in the Loctite. Just like that, and we're gonna put this in. Get the bottom of the tool in there first so it's straight. Slowly thread it into your new threads. If it starts binding up, back it out, maybe re-chase your threads, make sure they're good. Oh, I can just feel it. So obviously that's why I want to keep the tang on there so you can keep turning it. Once the tang's broken, you can't turn it any further. So that's flush underneath. The tool's here. You just press where the tang is. It should be okay. These other ones, they snapped off and I just grabbed it with a little, uh, little pick. But there might not be enough room in that valley to actually press it. Regardless, boom, there's our next one done. So there's the one I just did. It's a little red still, but you can see just the tip of the coil there in the end. And that is the new guy. You can see all these ones are done. Bolt. Mint. Sick. Alright, so we're back in the garage. I already put it on. <laughs> and actually everything did get snug. Worked like a charm. So all these bolts are actually tight. Nothing is loose. So there's going to be no leaking coming from there. I don't think it was from there. We're going to start it up. Check it out. Got my hell yeah brother keys. Give it a little bit of gas just to see. All right, no, that doesn't sound good. It still sounded like it was leaking. So everything else is working. <sighs> Damn. So we're gonna take the intake manifold off put the old one back on, because I'm assuming the leak is coming somewhere through there. Ugh, bummer. I don't know. So we'll find out. We'll replace it, get back to that. 